morning everybody welcome back to the farm it got really dewy last night so we can't go in the field this morning hopefully we should go later this afternoon and in the meantime we need to build the ramp for our pit natalie what'd you do Look at me! I'm in the payloader! You know, one thing, I'm gonna oil the door for him. Listen to this. I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking my mother was climbing the ladder and that was her bones creaking. It is getting cold out here. The sun's dropping fast and it's getting cold. Cole's trying to make a gradual incline. I need to get back in the heater. It's supposed to get down to 31 degrees tonight. So it's gonna get a little brisky. And now I'm thinking about a brat or something for supper. I'm getting hungry. about eight hours but we finally got the ramp done now this is topsoil so it's gonna have a lot of compacting it needs to do but when you drive full semis over it a couple hundred times it gets rock solid pretty stinking quick we do have a little bit to go left over there got to bring in some dirt around where the septic system's at and where the power pad is so that way we just have nice gradual ramps up to everything but for right now this is a good start we need to get out in the field because I think it's time to do some soybeans. We just ran out to the bean field quick. We're going to check to see how they're drying. Ooh. They're getting close, but maybe not. One thing about beans, if they're not ready, they're not ready. But when they are ready, I don't care if there's an hour before dark, you better be running. Unless we're talking 10 days of nice weather. Hey, they're getting close though. Well, what I need to do, this is our grave digging machine. And for some reason, it got put outside when we were trying to get stuff moved around with all the bin storage and we had to get materials inside that couldn't be sitting outside until it got put up but they're talking more rain coming tomorrow i just hate to have it sitting out too long and it's set out long enough and i'm spilling gas all over looks like we'll need to pull it in dang it okay i guess we're gonna have to pull it usually it starts right up but the battery must just be zapped out hour later we come back out in the field and check them again Ooh, they're getting crunchier <laughs> few cracks real good i mean so it's definitely getting better what's your professional chewing of the beans say she cracked so i think it's time to run you heard it from natalie it's time to run so we're gonna go get the uh, combine warmed up time we get out it'll be another 15 minutes Today we're back at Melvin's farm. We got 145 acres over here. We have about 100 of it done. As long as everything goes well, we should get done here. This is a really nice farm. You can really open up the legs of the combine, get a lot done. And so far, it's yielding really well. So we're excited to see how it does overall. Oh, before we get started, might as well get our work down in quick. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it just feels good to get the 
blood flow a little bit. You know, your back starts hurting if you sit in the tractor for too long. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna stink. Okay, Dad, any minute. I wonder if they broke something. Dad's gonna end up running the red semi today. We're only about four miles from home. Actually, if we look right between the split and the wind turbines, we can see the million dollar bin site right on the horizon. Dad and Coop got started before me. So green cart should be full here in a minute. Dad'll come up. We'll switch and then I'll operate green cart. How you making out? I should have, well, I'll have enough on here for this load, but I don't know how you program that. Thing or, oh, okay. Then the uh, GPS thing, I don't know, this line seems so far off that I didn't even use that. I'll get it fixed. We're gonna try something really, really cool here. I don't know if it's really cool or not. Cole says it's gonna be cool, so if he says it's gonna be cool. <laughs> we stuck a drum, our, our GoPro right here on the front of the bumper of the semi. And then you guys get to watch me like run into all kinds of stuff at home, knock over the neighbor's mailboxes. It'll be I don't know, I've never seen it on the bumper before, so we're gonna try it and see what it does. gets me filled up we'll get rolling I'm gonna be running the semi and I asked Cole if it works out I should be back before he gets the cart full I'll just stay in one semi that way when I get my cab nice and warm I'm only concentrating with just one semi and I don't have to keep shutting them on and off get me in the cab get my engine warmed up I want some heat in here ah it's warm in here zoom last save job okay 50,000 pounds on us So we might be doing something that's a little rash. Cooper just unhooked our air bar. We have 3,000 bushels of beans we need to get into the bin that we're at. And they're talking four days of rain starting tonight. The particular area that bin's at takes about a week to dry out. So we'd kind of like to get 3,000 bushels before it gets dark here in the next three hours. So unhooking that air bar frees up about 50 horsepower for us. So we can maybe go just a little bit faster to get those beans in. These beans are actually maybe a little marginal to go in right now they're testing about 17 percent normally we don't go in anything over 15 but we need to get these beans in that bin because this rain's coming it's, it's getting kind of the point with soybeans where we can't really wait for optimal weather we kind of got to get going on it because our window is going to start getting really short on them. basically the later it gets into the year the colder the temperatures get when it gets colder we get frost at night and then the, the ground stays wet longer because it takes longer for it to warm up in the day. Some days it doesn't dry at all. Like today, we didn't get started in the field until 4.30 and it only got down to 31 last night. So we got to kind of take with what we got to work with here. To kind of put it into perspective, last year at this time, we were two weeks away from finishing corn harvest. Oh, hey, I found a mouse. Hey, little buddy. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted, but that was with the machine that was a third of the size we have now. A 30 foot head instead of a 45 foot head. It's one of those years. I don't know what to do. It won't ride. Did you call that guy? I don't, he can come out again, but times it come out, it's gonna be darker when we'll we're done. Well, I mean, it's, if he's got any suggestions. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We're still having issues with the head dragging in spots and it's catching up bunches of this stuff right in front of the head and ends up plugging up the sickle just like that. And I'm not gonna lie. I I really want to hook that air bar back up. Got a bean there. Got a bean there. Got a bean there. Bean there. Bean there. Bean there. Bean there. With that thing on, I can go about 10 feet before I find a bean. What do you say? He said mess with these, and if this doesn't do it, he'll just have to come out sometime. Okay. Cooper took a little pressure off the ends of the wings. So I guess we're gonna see if that works. We've been told these heads can be really finicky. When you get it set perfect, they run awesome. But if you're just a little bit off, you're gonna fight it.
My monitor in the 340 is connected to the combine. See, I can see the combine going right there, how fast he's going, what direction, and what he's yielding in the spot. And I can also see where he's painted his yield map across the field. Now, these green spots show the areas that are doing above 80, and anything below 65 is red. So I'm just kind of noticing we had a lot of really dark green through this area. Then all of a sudden, we started hitting some streaks of some light yellows, oranges, reds. And we got a lot of red going on right here. So I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna look at this because it might be enough dew setting in now where pods are not splitting open, so it's not falling in the tank and we're spitting stuff out the back. This is just an example of how helpful technology can be to show us. Because otherwise, I mean, the combine's moving along just fine. If I didn't have this, I honestly probably would not get out right here to look. It, it is entirely possible that we're just hitting a maybe a low fertility spot in the field. This could be a little sandy right here. Maybe it got some disease. It's all very possible, but it just looks weird compared to the pattern that we've been having. Now look at that. Bean, 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 bean. Bean, 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 bean. Oh, we're kicking out a lot right here. Yeah. Hey, do we want to check your sieves? I was looking on the yield map and your yield dropped like 12 bushel an acre right here. There's a whole bunch of beans on the ground. Damn. Okay. That, you're spitting a bunch out the back right now. This thing, I swear. <laughs> okay, we got it. Okay. Yeah, Cooper's not having a very good day. It's his birthday, by the way, so be sure to wish him happy birthday. This is what I mean with him dragging. But see all those beans on the ground? All those little yellow dots, those are all beans. So he's kicking them out the back of the head for some reason. Not the back of the head, the back of the machine. And we're just getting all these random little pile-ups like this. It's definitely, definitely getting wet right now. There's maybe 10 acres left right here. If we can, we'd really like to get this field done tonight, so that way we can bring all the equipment home since it's gonna be raining for so long. We'd rather have it not just sit out in the field and get rained on. But if we have to, then I guess we have to. How much more does Dad need to get, fill that bin? It's gonna be close after this one. After what one? This cart. I need one more dump to have a semi on me. Okay, well I'll try open my sieves a little bit. Slow my throat in. Okay. Seems a little a lot better. There's a bean there. There's one there. That's looking significantly better. Definitely more beans on the ground than I would like to see. But it is suboptimal conditions right now. And sometimes you have to run when you don't want to. If we end up getting the snow on these soybeans, it'll just sit on these and it can make these weak and brittle. And then when the snow disappears and these dry off, we can have a lot of splitting going on. Beans would just drop straight to the ground. It's 23rd of October right now. Like I said, the days just don't dry like they do at the beginning of October into September. Cold weather's coming around. We probably have a good month of weather yet, but just with the frost and the dew that we get this time of year, it's gonna be tough to get long days of soybeans in. Now, if this was corn right now, this little bit of dampness that we're getting on the ground, really wouldn't be bothering anything. Basically, you'd combine corn, unless water's dripping off the plant. Yeah, look at that, right here. Back to the dark green, that's what we like to see. Usually, in the field, you have pockets, not streaks, especially when the rows were planted like kind of cockeyed to what this streak's going on. So definitely a combine issue right there. Ooh, 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 I'm liking that even better. That just shows we gotta pay attention. It is so cold right now. I am cranking up the heat in this thing. You hear that, guys? That's the sound of being warm. I was gonna attempt this, but I think I'm gonna wait on cold for this one. Oh, goodness, we just got this inside the big machine shed. That was so intimidating. <laughs> Look how close I am to the bean head. This is insane. I can't believe I actually got it in. Look at that. Look how close we were to the bean head. Cole is out there guiding me, you guys. And when he went to the back to go look and see if, like, the tractor was inside yet I thought he was trying to tell me like you're good you can keep going straight and I was like no like I'm not going straight anymore I'm gonna hit something but thankfully we were able to park it so when I was sitting there saying stop that didn't translate to <laughs> stop no <laughs> push 
this together? Yep. That's all I do? Yep. <sighs> yeah, not happening. I'm not <laughs> 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 Wow.